Hi everybody. Today I wanted to take a quick look at Ubuntu uh, 13.10 Saucy Salamander. I downloaded the uh, daily build a couple days ago. And um, from what I could tell it's a pretty solid system for, for a alpha or pre-alpha status. Not really sure where it falls in. Looks like Looks like they're on the Debian import freeze, so I'm not sure how that fits into alpha status. So one of the things you could do to check to make sure that you're running the Unity system compositor will tell you if you're running Mir, which I am. Let's take a look at system resources while I, I'm using a four cores to record this video, so it's really pumping out the RAM and getting as much high definition out, out of this as possible, so I can show you guys how it how everything looks. It's really snappy. I have an SSD on my laptop here. It's running an i7 processor with uh, eight core, uh, four cores and four cores of hyper-threading, so um, it's pretty responsive. So you can see the web searches are still involved here. So if you click on one of the items on the search result, it will give you what information it has available. These are not English versions of the books, which is kind of weird. Um, Whoa, not what I wanted to do. So, I can't seem to hit Control Alt and down and up to move into the lower panel, but it looks like everything's working as it should. You can see there's a bit of a Firefox uh, icon change. The continents are not very uh, discernible, but uh, it's pretty good. Having fun playing around this, and uh, like to see what you guys think of Mir down below. Uh, go ahead and leave some comments. Um, honestly, it's pretty stable for an alpha, but don't go and install it on your production machine just yet. I'm uh, currently dual booting um, 1204 and uh, 1310 on this. So maybe in a future video I'll show you guys how I have it partitioned. It's actually very simple. I just, uh, you know, um, set up, set aside 30 gigs of free space when I did my original installation and then um, went in and and set up a second uh, root and a second home and it's sharing swap space so works very nicely oh. wonder if there's a YouTube lens I, I, I imagine we could uh, always add one Oh, okay, see, it looks like it is pulling up uh, my search for Linux Factory, so if I click on one of these, in theory it should open it up in the web browser. It looks like it's not quite there just yet, but perhaps in um, a couple weeks it'll be very solid. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.